It's time to get ready for a new terror in our world. An assault fork. Assault fork. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. There are lots of different ways of learning how to properly store food in your pantry. One of them is to come and look on YouTube for people like myself that have advice about, you know, this is one way to do it properly, this is one way to not do it properly. Another is trial and error, and I want to share in this video a little bit of trial and error that I had uh, experienced myself. Although I wouldn't really say it was so much of a trial, it's just me being lazy. Uh, this is a little cylinder of salt. Now normally when I buy salt, I buy it in a large, uh, bag or something like that, like 20 pounds or something, and I'll dump that into a five gallon bucket, I'll throw a desiccant pack in there to keep it dry, and that's fine. I've got salt that's many, many years old. In fact, you know, a lot of these things, like they'll have an expiration date on them. Yeah, like this, this one's got an expiration date on the bottom. That's kind of ridiculous. I mean, salt has been sitting under the ground, you know, for hundreds of thousands of years. It doesn't expire. I don't know why they put expiration dates on these things. but. Uh, if you happen to buy some of this stuff, you know, and you don't you put it into a bucket and you don't put a desk and pack in it, maybe you just buy some of these and you put them in your basement. Uh, one thing that can happen to them that might feel like it's expired is that it, humidity can get in here and then it can turn into a big rock. What's in here is just a cylinder of salt. And here's another example of it from another uh, package that I had. It's just essentially like a big, uh, big rock of a big salt rock. Uh, the way that I uh, dealt with that is, well, you know, a lot of people would say, oh, no, it's been ruined, and they just throw it out. Um, that's not my approach to things. Uh, here in New England, we like to think of ourselves as frugal Yankees. Not the vast majority of us, uh, but some of us do. And uh, whenever something seems like it might be junk, I like to try to figure out some way of using it. And it's really not that big a deal to use this stuff, even if it turns into a rock. So all I did is I just uh, used a uh, knife to carefully, with, and you know, I put on... Uh, Kevlar gloves and, and safety glasses and put on a suit of armor because, you know, we have to advocate safety here. You know, one way or the other, I got into this. I think I, I used a knife or something like that to cut it out. And I got the rock out. And now that I've got this, what I've been doing, I just keep it in a container with a lid on it. And whenever I need to use it, all I do is I take a fork and I just scrape it one side. And it works really, really fine. I'm just going to do a little bit here into this uh, uh, dough that I'm making. I made some dough earlier and I forgot to put salt on it. Uh, I guess this is a, a second little tip in this video. If you forget to put salt into your dough and it's rising and then you realize it later, uh, you can just scrape the salt in and then uh, uh, knead it into the dough and it, it, it's, it's totally fine to do it that way. Uh, incidentally, if you want to figure out whether you did it or, or did not forget, you can, well, this is how I figure out. Yep, yeah, not, not salty. <laughs> so that's how I figure out if I forgot or not. So I'm just scraping some salt right onto it and it works really, really easily. So if you ever get into a situation where you have one of these and you know you just leave it and it gets humid and then it dries out later and it turns into a rock, just take the, the, the lump, take a fork and just kind of scrape a little bit. You want to uh, keep it low into the bowl because uh, the little flecks of salt kind of fly all over the place, but it's really not that big a deal. It's, it hasn't really solidified into one solid crystal. It's just a bunch of little crystals that are kind of liking their neighbors a little bit, and you just got to use the fork to just convince them they don't want to hang out with their neighbors that much. But it's really not that big a deal, so you can turn something like this, I think a lot of people probably just throw away, into totally useful salt. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, YouTube preppers, did you get the pun? a salt fork. Well, if you like this video about how to reuse something that a lot of people might think is junk, then you're probably going to like this video over here, which is about pretty much the same topic.